TV. Hey. <laughs> the lift wasn't working and he was in pain, so I tried to lift him on my own. Yes, it's bad. I'll need help. Oh. Can I help you with that? No, I'm good. Thanks. Workplace injuries hurt the most at home. Our son is one. My father was one. I am one. Are, Are you, you one? Good evening, everybody. How are you getting on tonight? It is Out of the Fog, and we are a local matter show that goes right across the province, and we talk to the best and the brightest coming through, whether you're in the not-for-profit space, whether you're a musician or an artist of any kind, or you own a business and you're trying to make waves and provide opportunity for folks. That's why I love doing this show, because we have to hang out with all those people. Tonight is no exception. We have Chalk, an artist who is delving into electronic music nominated for an award. We have Neil King, a tech video maker, and the man himself, John Norman, mayor of Bonavista, owner of Bonavista Living, is out of the fog. Can't wait. See you after the break. You're watching Rogers TV, St. John's. everyone, it is Jason Piercy, host of Out of the Fog on Tuesday nights at 7.30. You're definitely gonna wanna watch because you never know what I'm gonna get into. It's all about community. It's all about you. So watch, Tuesday, 7.30. Welcome back, everybody. It is Out of the Fog. And just like I told you before the break, we got the best and the brightest rolling through. And sometimes you meet one person and you love them and years go by and you meet another person and then all of a sudden they come together and you can't even believe your life. Neil Chalk, hello. DC, how's it going? It's going good, baby. All right. It's 2021 in it, you know? I want to talk to you about art. You know nothing about that, do you? Uh, you know what? It's something I've been in, indulging in for the past, especially the past year. Well, filmmaking, working in the film biz, um, you know, you're one of the hardcore sluggers who make it happen. With all your tools in that bag, I'm interested. Um, I did. I brought some tools today. Yeah. Uh, actually, let me just give you a little, a little preview Please do. of what we shot her music video with. Um, Not that. This is called the DJI Osmo Pocket, and it's actually a tiny little camera. Oh my God. And it has perfect stable stability, so I can actually run behind somebody or... I have a gimbal, know, not the same thing? The same thing, yeah. Same Whoa, idea. that's compact. Same idea. So it's funny you say it, and I'm not gonna jump all over God's creation, but I Absolutely. definitely wanna start at that. Yeah. The art of making video content is evolving at the speed of life from the big laborious sets of yesteryear Absolutely. to now hold it in your hand technology. Well, the power of technology doubles every year, so. Is that true? Yeah. Hmm. I'm scared now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you about this project but first. Chalk, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Now, for those of you saying, sure, that's Selena, bye. <laughs> you right. And yet, as we all evolve in our artistry, we get to explore different aspects and genres and sounds and personas that help us connect more with those genres. Am I right? That is correct. A lot of singing, a lot of performing, songwriting over the years. Talk about the evolution to Chalk. Hmm, that's interesting. Chalk is another um, outlet for my expression. 
So kind of like my solo electronic project started around 2011, 2012 when Whoa. I was living in Calgary. I started to learn how to loop up on a loop station with my keyboard. At the time, it was a toy keyboard. I now use an analog synth, but it's pretty fun. So I just started looping up electronic sounds, and I call myself Chalk because one of my first poems that I ever wrote was called I Am a Chalk Rock, mm -hmm. and I was like eight years old. And this is kind of, um, yeah, it's, an, it's a different form of expression to kind of put my poetry into music. Um, so I wanted it to be separate from the conventional song structure of playing guitar and like first chorus, first chorus. I wanted it to be different, so. Where did it begin? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I guess it began with the instruments, like learning how to use a loop station and a keyboard mm. together with like a voice live play. And then my poetry and just playing around and getting into that flow state, which I used to do for hours. Oh, like I just sit down, play with the instruments. And I'm like, I think I'm gonna take my poetry and put it into music. So that's basically what chalk is. So that's how it kind of began. And then it went on from there. We, in case we don't know, watching at home, why don't you give us a little moment about the lineage? Um, like my background in music? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was born to local singer-songwriter, uh, lead singer of Lukey's Boat, Laverne mm -hmm. Squires. That's right. A lot of people would know who, who oh, she yeah. is. Well, Fred's uh, records, I mean, she hangs life-size in that place. Yeah, yeah. After her passing, we released um, an album of uh, recordings she did at the library at Memorial wow. University in the 60s. Get out of here. So it's like live off the floor. You can even hear like um, the old school vacuum cleaner in the background. It's kind of cool, actually. Check out the album. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like what you're doing in terms of um, singing and songwriting and musical performance to be a tribute to your family legacy? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it's in me. You know, I, 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 I can't help but not express myself musically. It's what I grew up with. I love that. So my mother was a massive influence. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah. I want to bring these two amazing worlds together. Typically, it's who's going to create a video for my music. Didn't happen that way. Why don't you talk to us about that? We actually met a while ago, a couple of years ago. 2013, I think. Okay. Uh, a couple then, years. Yeah, a couple of years. <laughs> Let's, you know, I mean, this last year has been so fast. So yeah, it's a thousand couple, years as well. A couple so. of years seems appropriate. Yeah. But we uh, work professionally. Actually, she helped me get a job at uh, at an institution, and uh, then we worked together for four years. Wicked. Professionally. Love. Yep. And then. And then. And then we went our separate ways. Mm -hmm. And then, I got into my new hobby, filmmaking. Right. And then I said, hey, you just got nominated for a Music NL Award. No big deal. No big deal. What no up? big deal. I want to make a music video. And back together you came. Here we are. Now, I'm going to pause this little story. Because right now we're going to watch that video in full. Anything you want to say to set us up before we throw to it? Neil, want to say anything to us? Um, technology is... Uh, uh, expensive Fair. and the first day we went out on set uh, actually the second day uh, I brought my drone to do oh. some cool aerial shots yep as I was waiting for her I flew it over the lake and boom crashed right into a tree <laughs> that was like leaning right over over the water so this was like a thousand dollar drone <whistles> boom and then luckily the technology the AI inside of it it starts fluttering kind of like a bird and gets away from the tree and then does its own thing. So it's. <laughs> and you didn't jump into the ocean after that drone. I didn't the have to. Line. Didn't have God to. Yeah. Well, would we be here today to talk about it? I mean, and we'd still be here. Well, no, we wouldn't. We wouldn't. Because we wouldn't have those cool shots. It'd be chalk being like, I wish like, I had a video. I don't, I, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. well, I'll tell you what, we're going to throw it to it right now. Name of the song I've Got You. And now you're going to get it. So you watch that and then come back and hang out with us. We'll be right back. Like string, shaking. 
Seeking the depths of the darkness Surrendering So, all hands have just watched this video. How are you feeling? I am so excited. I, I'm so thankful that uh, Neil came to me and asked me if I wanted to do a music video. It's, it was literally such an awesome opportunity, and we did it in such a short amount of time. It's Probably really he's weird like that, isn't it, guys? The, the yeah. model uh, was on stage for maybe a half hour each day. Get out of here. It. Yeah, it was two days, half hour. Whoa. Mm. And then your work begins. Yep. And now, guys, I'll tell you what, you know, here we are in a studio, cameras, it's all happening, but motion media in any concept, like videos, TV shows, movies, it is becoming more and more the mainstay of how we absorb information. Static things are a little passe. It's all about the moving parts. Walk mm. us through how much work it actually takes post-shooting to bring that to life. That three minute video, three minutes, 30 seconds, I think, mm -hmm. it took, I would say, mm, at least maybe 20 hours of editing. Oh yeah, it's a, Yeah, or maybe a couple of days even. Well, because you want it to be perfect. Yeah. And you have and, a, a and, vision. And you know what, you're still never satisfied. Like I said, I was, here, <laughs> I was here a year ago today, and I said the same thing. You're never satisfied with your final product. Not true. And, well. Until, until, until you see it in motion and, and, you get, and you get feedback. Of course. Yeah. So I will ask you, um, what 
are your hopes? And I'll ask you first, what are your hopes for this piece that you guys have created? Music and Ella Ward. <laughs> Music and Ella, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, recognition is done. Oh my gosh. That's no right. one's sad. She's actually it. nominated for uh, Music and Ella Chuck, uh, Electronic Artist of the Year. I think he mentioned that a second ago. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally okay. But now, to me, um, you are no stranger to nominations and just being recognized and appreciated for what you do. But this is a new lean. This is in like a bit of a different oh. category than you're used to. This is exciting. Like, I, I never thought anyone was ever going to hear this song. Um, so my producer, Christian Johansson, uh, came to me one day and he's like, hey, I, I was working on one of your, one of your songs. Um, surprise, here it is. And he sent it to me and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, this sounds really good. I'm like, I had no, I was in tears because I was like, I did not know that anybody was ever going to hear this song because I wrote it by myself and I was like, ah, oh, whatever. It's kind of like one of those things that was just for myself and sure. I put it away. Um, but then I was actually pretty excited. And so I released it earlier um, in the year of 2020, whatever that year was. I just went by really quickly <laughs> and uh, released that. And then um, I was really happy to be able to have a visual to go with it so in my mind, I could just picture running, like something about that song is just like running away from something. Um, and so it was really captured in the video. I can't wait. Daniel did, yeah, excited. I can't wait to see how this goes because the award show is coming up in just a few weeks. Yes, yes it is. Neil, how can folks get at you so that you can help them put amazing visual construct and context to the song. I would love to help out more musicians, more actors, more whoever. Um, I've got a group of people who are always uh, doing new films and mm -hmm. doing challenges, and so you can get at me at uh, my Instagram at 709. 7-Z-E-R-O, or is it Z? I mean, let's <laughs> weigh in. <laughs> it's Zed, we're in Canada. That's why there's a U in shock. Oh, wait, there's not. There's no U in shock. <laughs> <laughs> That's your next single. <laughs> and you, how can we access you online, hear your music, and feel the vibes? Right. I mean, I actually use the main platform, facebook.com slash chalktunes. Love it. Um, also, chalktunes.bandcamp.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully, within the next few weeks, everything is going to be available on all major platforms, Spotify, iTunes, all that good stuff. Love it. That's so great. I'm yeah. so excited for you and you both for this collaboration that you have put together. And I hope so many folks see this and love it. And I look forward to seeing what you both do next. Thank you. Respect. Guys, it's Out of the Fog. We'll be right back after this break. All right, girls. Uh, Mom, you said it's played again. Workplace injuries hurt the most at home. Most people living with it don't even know they have it. I'm Alex Lifeson. My family, like many of yours, has dealt with the conditions that cause kidney disease. If you have diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family member with kidney disease, you are at risk. If you are overweight or over 50, you are at risk. And certain ethnic groups are also at higher risk. Please talk to your family doctor and have your kidney function checked regularly. Welcome back, everybody. It is Out of the Fog. We just had a wicked old interview with Selena and Neil. Chalk is her latest, and I can't wait to listen to more of her. But now I can't wait to have a chat with you. Guys, yeah. I don't know if you know about this place in the province called Bonavista. Maybe you've driven past. Maybe you've spent some time there. It is arguably the biggest boom happening in this province, and I say that you got a lot to do with that. John Norman, <laughs> how are you? Pretty good. Happy to be here. Well, happy to have you. Thank you. I want to start at the start for folks who may not know. Tell me uh, about you and Bonavista. Tell us a story here. <laughs> well, I'm a Bonavista boy. Mm -hmm. I grew up in Bonavista. I moved away, as many of us do, for a time. Uh, went to school, collected a few degrees, uh, moved back a little over 12 years ago, almost 13 years ago now. I hmm. uh, was in education. And okay. uh, then about five and a half, six years ago, left my career completely in that field, 
started buying some heritage houses, thought there was good opportunity and good bones in Bonavista to do more, and that's when it really started. Um, I can only imagine how many times you have told this story based on the number of people that are dying for your attention based on what you've been able to do uh, in your region. So you were in education, were you? Yeah, in education. I was a teacher, a science teacher, and then I was working with College North Atlantic uh, okay. for a couple years, and then I went into business development in College North Atlantic for a couple campuses. Uh, so there was a touch of business, though I have no formal business background. It's all sciences yeah. and education. And then I jumped into real estate because I wanted to do real estate since grade 12. Is that my right? parents didn't want me to write my real estate exam, so I went to university, did a bunch of other stuff, and I still ended up in real estate playing Monopoly for a living. Isn't it funny how that goes? <laughs> yeah. Now, it's interesting, right, because for all of the economists uh, in the house and all of the staycation lovers, Bonavista has a lot to say to them. When I first met you, it was with the Board of Trade, summit and you were talking about the things that you were just starting to do or had been doing and my god four years flies by pretty quick yeah it's been four years I can't believe it. it's crazy yeah um, talk about Bonavista Living Bonavista Living is the first company we really moved on it's all about residential real estate so moving back to Bonavista having grown up there uh, there there was a noticeable change happening already in the late 90s or early 2000s. Mm -hmm. There was some interesting restoration going on, a lot of not-for-profit work, mm -hmm. and I thought there was some possible business opportunity and definitely a uh, social-leaning enterprise opportunity mm -hmm. for me and investors that wanted to uh, work with me. Uh, so it started with a few abandoned houses, and uh, while I was still at the college, I acquired a couple of abandoned properties, uh, moved into one, and uh, started restoration on a couple of others, and I think it was four or five properties originally. Uh, now we've surpassed 70, plus we've sold a few dozen, so it's, it's gotten a whole lot bigger, and we've branched into commercial properties under Bonavista Creative, and we've also launched our own uh, traditional woodworking shop, Heritage uh, Woodworking Shop. So that's Bonavista Creative Workshop. We make windows, doors, millwork, so we produce a lot of the things we use in all our restoration projects, and we do work all across the province now. I mean... It's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, it takes some time. <laughs> so you must get up literally at the crack of dawn, and you must be grinding until you fall down every night. I mean, what's life like? I used to. Oh, now you and, have people to help. Well, I, I have people. I have, I have a great, fantastic team Amazing. that I can rely on. That's what it's all about. Uh, we have dozens and dozens of employees. Five years ago, there was me <laughs> and my trusted advisor, Karina, like at her dining room table, the two of us. Wow. That was it. And we moved on this with our investors. And uh, it's grown a lot. As I said, we've got managers for different divisions sure. and different companies. And COVID also this year played a role in me taking a slightly different direction. I actually sleep more than four to six hours a night now. I feel more refreshed. I feel <laughs> I have uh, real creative juices flowing again. And uh, I have all sorts of ideas and lots of interesting projects to look forward to this year and beyond. Can you tease us? <laughs> We've got more companies moving into Bonavista, more commercial operations. We've got six buildings that we're currently doing restoration design on. We've got a new art gallery and studio that we're going to be constructing for an artist. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stuff and some other things I can't really speak to yet, but some exciting things that will probably be in the news in the coming months. I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to get it out of him now on the break, <laughs> come back at the end, reveal everything. No, I won't. I want to ask you something. Creative courage is something I spend a lot of time in this show talking about. And typically when I talk about creative courage, it is more in the mind um, of artists. And yet there's art in everything we do. What would you say to anyone watching at home tonight across the province who has a dream, an idea, um, no matter what industry or lean that it is, what would you say to them? Well, if they have the opportunity, uh, do, do what they really enjoy. And not that I didn't really enjoy education, but I absolutely, unequivocally enjoy heritage, built mm -hmm. heritage, community development. Not for profit work, but actually making a bit of money on an income to live on is a bonus. Uh, and I, I feel very fulfilled with the work we do. And uh, I'm not. I don't see myself as an artist, but uh, I am creating something, and the whole team is creating something. And I think they feel it every day. 
they're excited, uh, they're always interested in what's the new project, who are the new buyers, who are the new uh, commercial operations moving in. I mean, most of the employees and myself, we all grew up and lived in Bonavista. We saw the moratorium, we saw the town shutting down, we saw mass exodus. Now we have stabilized the population, our work, plus the work of other operators, businesses, the town itself, not-for-profit groups. We've all been rowing the boat in the same direction for about two decades now since uh, the, the real downturn in that community. And I really believe we've turned a corner and there's amazing things happening. You don't see a lot of towns the size of Bonavista in Newfoundland seeing dozens of new businesses opening and dozens of millennial aged individuals moving in. Usually they're going in the other direction. Mm. So it's, that really energizes you when you get up in the morning a little bit later than six now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't sleep, you wait. Yeah. Very Chuck Norris. Um, so, you know, projects are coming in the future, a major boom happening in the region itself. Across the province, I'm sure there are a lot of communities who would like to tell the same story. How possible is that? Up until COVID, I have done a lot of speaking engagements mm -hmm. around Canada, the U.S. especially, almost all rural or semi-rural areas. Right. They all want to know how we've done this in Bonavista, and I always explain it's taken a couple of decades. Mm. It's taken a lot of public and private investment, mm. and it, it isn't just John Norman. Uh, it isn't John Avista. Uh, it is... Uh, Although I'm never going to not say that again, so thank you for that moment. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a real team effort, and... I believe that every town has assets that they can access and utilize. And all Bonavista did was look at its existing assets and retool how it was developing or redeveloping and diversifying the community. And we're just a part of that. Man, so humble. I'll tell you what, guys. Bonavista, check it out. Bonavista Living, John Norman, the mayor, the wave maker, one of the amazing people out there who is leading that region forward. Check it out. A little staycation, maybe. You never know what goes on. It's Out of the Fog. We'll be right back after this break. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Out of the Fog tonight. It's always a wicked throwdown of the best in the biz going on. John Norman, thank you so much for coming through and inspiring us to know what's possible with our own two hands and a dream. And of course, we got Chalk and Neil. Thank you so much for coming through and talking about your collaboration. Best of luck in the Music NL Video Awards coming up. And guys, look at all these people who work so hard together to make this show happen. Can you believe it? Look at them go. Look, at they're amazing. Guys, I'm Donnie. I love what I do. See you guys next time. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email.